Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. Lakers rookie Austin Reeves was a DNP coach's decision by coach Frank Vogel in the Lakers' two must-win games in their journey to into the plan versus the Pelicans and then versus the Sixers. That decision, to me, really highlighted four fatal flaws with coach Frank Vogel. Firstly, is Vogel's almost stubborn commitment to his veterans. It's something that we saw with the Reeves early on in the year, that we saw with Stanley Johnson when they first acquired him. Vogel even multiple times said that Stanley's only been here a few games. And then also on the tail end of the season with Wendy and Gabriel, who rarely got meaningful minutes, although his impact could be seen immediately in terms of providing a unique skill set on the wing that the team really needed. Secondly, it showed arguably Vogel's greatest flaw, which is that he always reverts back to his comfort zone. In this case, versus the Pelicans, he put his favorite player, Avery Bradley, back in the game, and he put Dwight Howard back as well. And so something we've seen with him, whether it's through rotations or whether it's through his coverages, especially his love of going over screens and into drop coverages, is that he has a philosophy and he's gonna stick to it regardless of whether it's working or not, or whether he has the personnel for it or not. Thirdly, the decision shows, frankly, a discombobulated approach to the game. Because Vogel said that the reason that Reeves didn't play is that he hadn't been shooting well over the past 10 games, which is fine. That means you want spacers out there, but then you go ahead and play Avery Bradley and you play Dwight Howard alongside Westbrook and alongside AD as well, who hasn't shot well. So if you're going for spacing, then go for spacing. Don't take away one of your better defenders and highest IQ players based on his lack of shooting when you're not prioritizing that clearly in your lineups. And that brings me to the fourth and final flaw, which is a disconnect between Vogel's words and his actions. Throughout the year, he talked about players needing to have more effort, needing to play smarter. Austin Reeves was one of the few guys who did that throughout the season. But when it came down to the most critical games, he wasn't rewarded for it. And so what message does that really send? In my opinion, your actions, especially when under stress, really show what you value or what you're able to recognize in others. And in this case, we saw that Reeves, a guy who had given full max effort, again, one of the highest IQ players, was not rewarded for those things. Each of these flaws are reasons why Vogel is very likely going to be let go. And it was really highlighted by that decision to not play Austin Reeves in two critical games.